Good morning, ESM. I'm Josh. And I'm Liv. And today we'll be talking about New Year's resolutions. So you better start signing up for them gym memberships that you won't use. More on this after news and announcements. So I think my New Year's resolution would be to spend less money because I've been spending a lot of money lately. In news this morning, a mother and son from Syracuse with COVID die minutes apart from each other at Krause Hospital. Jacqueline A. Alpeter and James C. Alpeter III died this past Tuesday. James was a graduate of ESM in 2011, and Jacqueline worked at Syracuse University from 1983 to 2009. The Alpeter family de declined to comment. A classmate of James said in a statement, our hearts are watching and our prayers are for your brother. For you, brother. In other news, 46-year-old Charles J. Richter in Chenango County was charged with multiple felonies after an incident in Bainbridge. He was charged with first-degree attempted murder, first-degree assault, first-degree criminal content, and first-degree unlawful imprisonment. Victim has no life-threatening injuries and remains hospitalized. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Ski Club will have a mandatory meeting in room C10 after school on Tuesday. Your ski passes are ready and will be distributed at this meeting. Please email or see Ms. Pillowa if you have any questions or concerns. There will be a Ski Club meeting after school in room C4 and assemble candy cane grams. All are welcome. The weight room will be open on Thursday, December 23rd and Monday, December 27th from 9 to 11 a.m. See Coach Eschbacher if you have any questions. Mr. Avellino has approved the following days for Student Council Holiday Spirit Week. We are trying to promote this as much as possible on news and afternoon announcements. Monday, fe festive holiday and hat mass day, Tuesday, giving. Tuesday, bring your canned food for the food drive and you can wear your PJs. Wednesday is Ugly Sweater Day. And there's no Thursday. We have Thursday off. All right, you love them, you hate them, you break them, but you always make them the next year. Oh, I don't know how much to respond to that one, Liv. The first New Year's resolutions are thought to have been made by ancient Babylonians who made promises to their gods to pay their debts and return borrowed objects in return for favors bestowed upon them. H. Rome did a similar practice under Julius Caesar, who established January 1st as the New Year in 46 BC, named after the two-faced god Janus. They conducted a similar ceremonies to the Babylonians in return for good conduct that year. Early Christians also made New Year's resolutions and traditionally used the occasion to think about their past mistakes and resolve to do better in the future. Today, making New Year's resolution has become a Mostly non-religious practice where people focus mainly on self-improvement and almost everyone waits to see the ball drop at midnight in New York City. ka -chow. About one-fourth of Americans made New Year's resolutions last year in 2020, the most popular centralized around spending habits and healthy habits. We'll hit you guys with some of our past and present New Year's resolutions and traditions right after weather. My New Year's resolution is to read more books than I did this past year. Today we will have a high of 35 and a low of 23. Tomorrow we have a high of 32 and a low of 29. Friday we will have a high of 40 and a low of 34. Today there will be a high of 38 and a low of 30 with a possible snow shower and some sun. A little bird told me that 80% of New Year gym memberships quit in five months. Wow. All right. Now, why don't we talk about some of our resolutions, maybe give the people some ideas and what we'll be doing for New Year's. My New Year's resolution are always to try to get fit and stop going to the gym in February. An idea for resolution is to eat as much chicky chicky fried rice. I didn't make a resolution last year at all, but this year I want to make sure I pri prioritize my mental health a bit more, you know, maybe start meditating, which I feel is great, a great resolution for everyone and anyone. My New Year's traditions are making a bunch of food and party with some friends. Uh, what I do on New Year's is really dependent on how I feel that year, and I either go to a friend's house and hang out for the night to watch the ball drop, or I stay at home in my room and relax, most likely not watching anything since I'll probably be sleeping. 
All right, before we wrap up the show, let's hand over to sports. My New Year's resolution is just to play more basketball. The Monday night doubleheader for the NFL last night resulted in the Las Vegas Raiders beating the Cleveland Browns 16 to 14 and the Minnesota Vikings beating the Chicago Bears 17 to 19. Girls and boys bowling play at Fulton at 3.30. Ice hockey plays at Fulton at 5. Girls basketball plays at Auburn at 6.30. Boys basketball plays at home against Auburn at 6.45. And girls volleyball plays at Practor at 7. All right, that's all we have for y'all today. So from everyone here at The Morning Show, have a terrific Tuesday. And stay tuned for the last show before Christmas and New Year. What to do over break tomorrow.